So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and download the extension. I'm using Firefox right now, so I've gone to the bitwarden.com slash download. And I can just scroll down, find my browser, and click on the button. That'll take me to the extensions for my particular browser. I'll click on Add to Firefox and Add. Now that I've got it here, you'll see that the password manager was added. I'm also going to choose to allow this extension to run in private windows and click on OK. Now you'll notice that when I first install it, something that a lot of people like within either the Firefox or Opera browsers is that you can have Bitwarden be a persistent sidebar. So that's something that a lot of people like to do, but I'm going to close out of that for now. Now, a few things that are really helpful is going up here into my extensions and pinning Bitwarden. So that way it's going to be visible at all times. So I'll go ahead and pin it and then I'll get signed in. So now that I am signed into my browser extension, you can see that I have a few different things here. The first is going to be tab. This is going to represent any login items that I have saved for this particular site. If I were to go to a saved site, so I'll go over to GitHub. You can see that my browser extension is automatically letting me know that I have one login that is associated with this site. So if I were to open that back up, I can view that login. So another thing that you'll want to make sure to do is ensure that you're not having any conflicts between your browser's built-in password manager and Bitwarden. The way that you'll typically do this is through your settings. So in my case, I'm going to my menu and then settings. And then it's again, typically going to be in privacy and security. So I'm going to scroll down to where it's going to ask me to save logins and passwords for websites and just uncheck that box. This is ensuring that Bitwarden is always going to be the default when asking to save logins and passwords for other websites. If you want to enable the Bitwarden sidebar on a regular basis in Firefox, you'll go up to your menu bar. You're going to go to more tools and customize toolbar. And you're going to want to drag this sidebars icon up to the top. Once you hit done, if you hit the sidebar, that's all it'll take to show this sidebar on the left hand side. That's going to be a more persistent experience for you. So as you go through and navigate to different websites, it is going to maintain its presence on the left here for you. And you can resize that as you would like. 